In this affiliate marketing for beginners tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can go from zero to making $300 plus per day with little to no experience. What's going on fam? Eric Ellis here, the Wolf of Marketing. And the reason why I decided to actually create this video is because on a day-to-day -day basis, people reach out to me and they're a little bit confused and they don't know the exact fundamentals of affiliate marketing, what it takes to actually get results online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> gonna go ahead and actually show you guys what it takes to get results within your affiliate marketing business. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and show you guys some proof. Boom, we're behind the laptop. First affiliate program, one of them that I'm promoting, $16,575. That's actually in less than two months. So 16 grand. Uh, ClickFunnels affiliate, $15,422.23. Last 30 days, $1,384. Uh, another affiliate program I made, here's my back office here. I made $23,667.40. Uh, with this affiliate program, I made $5,799.38. Um, and one of my Stripe accounts for one of my affiliate programs, I made $33,544, uh, 2,500 if you add the two together, $2,534.40. Uh, yesterday, if we look 22 hours ago, May 22nd, I made a thousand dollar commission for a text pro and same day, um, May 22nd, I made uh, a $2,000 commission. Commission. So I actually had my biggest day online yesterday, $3,000 in a single day. Now imagine with this skill set, you can turn your annual income into your monthly income. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain why in a second. Now, first and foremost, what is the first step to actually um, creating an affiliate marketing business, right? The first step is you need to go ahead and identify your niche. What a niche is, is a niche is a category, right? With that being said, you need to figure out what category uh, of products you want um, to promote. For example, there's health, wealth, romance, the golfing niche, the, the dog training niche, the uh, weight loss niche, like the, the list goes on, guys. There's so many niches on there. Simply figure out what niche you wanna go ahead and find products in. Identify the main problems within that niche Meaning, what are people struggling with? What are their pain points? What keeps them up at night? And then once you figure that out, identify the specific problem that you want to solve. So for example, the problem that I wanna solve is teaching people how to make money online. And the reason why I decided to hop in that niche, specifically affiliate marketing, is because when I was working a job and I hated working a job, I hated uh, um, clocking in and clocking out. I hated uh, working for a boss. I wanted to live life on my own terms. I wanted to travel. I wanted to live the laptop lifestyle. I stumbled across affiliate marketing and that was the thing that took me from struggle to abundance and living my dream lifestyle. So because I went on that journey, I also know the pain points and the struggles it took for me to go from that point of struggle and that point of pain to get to this point of abundance. I know how that whole journey looks like. And with that being said, I basically want to ease the pain for people and I want to go ahead and make it easier for people to get to that ending goal. So that's where I come in, right? I want to go ahead and promote products to help people solve that specific problem. Now, once we have identified a niche, the second thing is we've identified a problem that we want to solve. The next thing is a product. Now, here's the thing. You don't want to go ahead and promote your own product, right? That takes time. That takes years or months or whatever that looks like it takes a t uh, 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 it takes expertise and it takes a while to actually create a product right that's where affiliate marketing comes into play affiliate marketing is simply when you find somebody who has created a product you become an affiliate you promote that product you are simply the the professional middleman so there's a vendor there's the affiliate they have the product you create you uh promote that product and you generate a commission right so basically, you're promoting somebody else's product. Whenever a sale is made, you get paid a commission. However, instead of doing it the old fashioned way, like knocking on doors, selling stuff, or standing in a grocery store, selling stuff, so on and so forth, 
There's, there's systems that we can put in place that we're gonna cover in this video that allows you to completely automate your sales process. So not only do we not own the, the product, but majority of the selling is gonna be taken care of for us, right? So let's dig in, right? Now, first and foremost, where do we actually find a product? There's two places, right? Um, number one is, especially in the make money online niche, but there's different niches, guys. But um, for example, one example is, let's just say ClickFunnels. I became a ClickFunnels affiliate. I was using ClickFunnels as a software, right? And the first place that you find affiliate offers is stuff that you're already using. I was using ClickFunnels as a software. So when people ask me what I use to build my funnels, I simply just hand them my affiliate link. When I hand them my affiliate link, if they decide to continue to use the software, I get paid a 40% commission recurring over the lifetime. That's how I'm making $1,500 a month in residual income. That's one way, right? Something that you're already using, but that's not something that's gonna be really scalable, right? What are some things that are scalable? Number two is a method called join, promote, earn. So an example of join, promote, earn in the make money online niche is something like easy one up. Easy one up basically is different levels of education in the affiliate marketing niche, right? So elevation, elevation, elite, vertex, vertex elite, vertex pro, vertex live, so on and so forth. If you look back in the day, not back in the day, current today, there's college, right? There's general studies, there's bachelor's degree, master's degree, doctorate, right? So there's different levels of education in the conventional uh, education model. Same thing with digital education. There's there's basics and fundamentals, and then there's like the really um, intricate, uh, complex stuff, right? Uh, the things that are gonna go and go a little bit more in depth. So with that being said, there's different levels that you can invest into. Now, this is kind of something similar, something similar to ClickFunnels, something that you're using. So for example, if I buy the product because I wanna learn affiliate marketing, and this is teaching me affiliate marketing, they will also, it's, you can actually become a franchisee, meaning you will be a, you can become a reseller. So you will be licensed to resell this product for 100% commissions. So that's another example. Now this isn't the only one, like some of these different ones, like this one right here, uh, this one right here, is those type of models, right? There's a couple of products that I promoted in the past where I bought the products myself because I wanted to enhance my marketing education. That's why I've been able to build a dream lifestyle and I've been able to make this type of income because I've bought all these programs and I've learned these skill sets, right? So you can buy these programs, but some of them will actually allow you to also promote them as an affiliate. So that way, not only are you learning, but as you start to implement what you learn, you can earn a commission for any sales that you generate, right? S number three is finding an affiliate network. So an affiliate network would be something like JVZoo, ClickBank, so on and so forth. To where, for example, if I wanted to go ahead, let's just say I wanted to go ahead and do the make money online niche. And I wanted to go ahead and find a product that helps people uh, make money online because they're trying to get out of their job or they're, they wanna walk away from their job or they just want an extra side income, so on and so forth. Whatever the problem is, I'm gonna find a product to solve that problem. I could also create a ClickBank account, it's free, create JVZoo accounts free, so on and so forth. Find these affiliate networks. I would go to the marketplace. Once I go to the marketplace, I can go to the uh, categories. So what are some things that can actually help people solve those problems? If I go to e-business and e-marketing and I find a product, if I go to these products, right, I could find one of these products and I can do my due diligence, do my research and see if the product is congruent with the problem that I'm trying to solve, right? Guys, this is about serving people. This is about helping people solve problems. So identify the niche, identify the problems in that niche, identify the specific problem that you want to solve in that niche, then find a product that will solve that problem. Now, with that being said, once we have found a product, I'm giving you different uh, variations. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys an example of a current pr product that I'm promoting, right? With Easy One Up, like I said, I made $3,000 within the last um, uh, 24 hours with Easy One Up. I mean, with ClickFunnels within stuff, I made $120, $68, $99 the other day, so it's pretty consistent income, but Easy One Up is more so like lump sum commissions. We need something that's gonna go ahead and allow us to automate the sales process. Now. 
What it's called is a sales funnel, but it's also called a video sales letter. What a video sales letter is, is back in the day when people used to sell products, they used to literally have a sales letter, right? So it used to be a letter, a long form letter. Uh, basically, as you read it, it's basically selling you and explaining to you how this product can solve your specific problem. Then somebody had the brilliant idea, well, if this works with a, uh, a written form, what if we actually create a video form? That's why they call it a video sales letter. It's, it's a sales presentation in a video form that basically explains how this specific problem can solve, uh, or excuse me, this specific problem product can solve your target audience's pro uh, problem. So guys, this works for any niche. Just plug in your niche with this specific thing. But remember, look, niche, person has a problem, product solves problem. So my sales video, for example, this video is one of the videos that I'm using that I did not create. Somebody else created this uh, this video that does all the heavy lifting. It does all the selling to where when I drive people to this video, right? And that's we'll cover that a little bit later. But when we get people to this video, when people watch the video, a percentage of those people are going to actually, right? There's going to be a call to action button, right? This button down here, the call to action button. They're going to click that button, and then it's going to go ahead and give them access to an order page. The order page is going to allow them to buy the product that was just explained will solve that specific problem. So instead of you spending your time, effort and energy closing people or selling people face to face or knocking on doors and so on and so forth, guys, the power of this video right here is that it can pay, it can play 24, seven, 365 days a week around the clock and it can be playing. So at the end of the day is hundreds of people can be watching this per day or even at the same time. You can't sell people individually that many people, right? So the benefits of leveraging a sales video is you can, uh, multiple people can watch it at one time and it can play 24 seven, 365 days a week. It doesn't ask for time off. Uh, it's like the perfect freaking sales associate, right? So with that being said, once we find a affiliate offer, even if I was to go into ClickBank, I'm not gonna endorse any of these, but I'm just gonna click the first one. If I was to go and look what this looks like, for this specific product, they have a sales video, and this sales video is gonna basically explain how people can make money online with ClickBank. I am not endorsing this product by, by any means on ClickBank, but just to show you, most of these products on ClickBank are going to have sales videos that basically show people how the product can help them get their ending goals, wants and desires. So now that we know that, right, what is the next step? What are some systems that we can set up to further our automation? Now, here's the thing, guys. One thing to understand is that people only, for the most part, nine out of 10 people only purchase from people who they know, like, and trust. It's like, would you buy something from somebody who you really don't trust or you really don't know? Absolutely not. It's kind of like this. Uh, I know this is a, a weird, a weird uh, analogy, but like, if a if a girl like finds a guy who she barely knows, if a random guy on the uh, on the street walks up to her and say, "Hey, do you want to sleep with me?" She's gonna be like, "What?" She's probably gonna smack him in the face. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, to try to to say that? Are you kidding me? Like, get out of my face, right? It's the same thing with sales. You have not built a relationship with these people. So if you just say, buy my stuff, it's essentially like walking up to a girl randomly and saying, hey, let's have sex. It's not going to happen, right? Now, how does it work? Over time, you build a relationship with people. They, you get them to know, like, and trust you. You take, them on, you take them on dates, right? And then eventually, after they know, like, and trust you, you guys fall in love happily ever after. You guys get to that point of intimacy, so on and so forth. You wanna treat online marketing and selling products online like the same way, right? You don't wanna take the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am approach. You wanna go ahead and build relationships with these people. And the way that you build relationships with these people is following up with them. The way we're gonna go to follow up with them is leveraging something called a sales funnel capture page. So a software, the same software that I told you guys that I use, ClickFunnels, that I'm making affiliate uh, commissions with um, basically I use that to build these little web pages now what is the difference between a sales funnel capture page and like a, uh, a, a typical website right I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys what this web page looks like 
So here's a sales funnel, here's a website. Now I own both of these. Here's my website. The problem with the website is, guys, this is just for show, this is a business card. At the end of the day, there's too many freaking options. There's home recommended, courses recommended, tools, blog, free book, Clickbank. There's blogs, like there's so many different options. If I send somebody to this page right here, it's a more targeted approach, meaning they have two options and two options only. Either put your email in or leave this page. Now it's kind of like this. What is easier to make a decision? Is it easier to make a decision if you had to choose from a hundred different flavors for candy for a lollipop, or you had two flavors to choose from, it's gonna be easier and quicker to make a decision um, because there's less variables. It's gonna be easier to make a decision with two, two uh, candies. The same thing with two steps or two options rather. Instead of a website that has multiple options, you have narrowed down the variables down to two different options. You either put your email in or you keep it moving. So with that being said, because you've narrowed down these variables, you've made it easier for the person uh, to make a decision, right? So when you get somebody in front of this page, right, the next thing is making sure that your message is congruent with the person who comes across this page. So if, for example, somebody's interested in making money online, and I'm getting them in front of a page that says something about losing weight, they're gonna be like, what? What are you talking about losing weight? I'm interested in making me money online, what are you doing, right? So you wanna make sure that the problem that you're trying to solve, you wanna make sure that your message is congruent with the problem that you're trying to solve. So an example, free video reveals my $300 per day system. So obviously if I'm struggling financially and I wanna make more money and I want an extra side income or whatever that looks like, if somebody can teach me how to make an extra $300 per day, I'm going to be interested in it. So because this resonates with me, I'm going to go ahead and put in my email to get to the next step. Now, what I'm going to do is that video sales letter that we were talking about, I'm going to go ahead and actually connect that to this small little web page. And the second step after they put in their email, they're going to go ahead and get access to my sales presentation, which is right here. So with that being said, why is it important to go ahead and put this, this, uh, the, this little web page in front, this little sales phone, this capture page, because as soon as somebody puts in their information, when I, the next step is they're going to see this page right here. Now, if a large percentage of these people are not going to buy your product. And the reason why is because they just stumbled across you. They don't even know what this is. There's a little skepticism there. Uh, there's just certain things that kind of have them on the fence to where they just they didn't decide to actually pull the trigger and make that decision, right? It's kind of like back to that example. If you just meet a guy, you're not going to sleep with him. Uh, you have to build a relationship with somebody before you ever get to an intimacy point. Same thing. I'm not going to buy a product from somebody I don't know, right? So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually connect this page, right? So it's called a cell phone. So take, say, take some notes now. Um, this is the sales funnel. The next step is called, or excuse me, what we're going to be leveraging is called an email auto responder. Now this is my email auto responder. Um, it's called active campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go to active campaign. Um, now guys, there's different ones. This one's a little bit more com complex, but it's really good. Um, this is what I currently use for my business now. Guys, I have 19,000 people, but we'll cover that in a second, um, who are on my list who are interested in making money online. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, go to automations. Now, what is an email auto responder? It, it's exactly what it sounds like. Auto responder. It automatically responds to people as soon as they opt in as a lead and become, and they hop on your email list. Now, you might be wondering, okay, if I send people to this page, right, where are my leads gonna be stored? Where are all these emails gonna be kept? They're gonna be kept in a database known as your email autoresponder. So not only are you gonna be able to, after you notice I have 19,000 leads, there's gonna be a database that you're starting to, to build, which is an audience who's interested in a specific subject, that niche. But not only that, right, you're gonna be able to set up automations like this. If I go to AMW 45 day uh, email follow-up, as soon as somebody puts in their email, immediately they're gonna go ahead and get a welcome email. 
So it's kind of like when somebody, when you first meet somebody and you're trying to establish a relationship, you're going to welcome yourself, you're going to introduce yourself. That's what you're doing within your welcome email. So as you let them know what they're going to expect, but not only that, you're letting them know, okay, look, like this is who I am, right? This, you're, you're going to get to know me. I'm going to give you some value, so on and so forth. We're going to build a relationship here. Obviously, and I'm going to address their concerns and their problems in this initial email. I'm going to let them know, look, you obviously put in your email here because you're trying to make money online. It doesn't matter what it is, whatever your niche is. You obviously put in your email here because you're trying to lose weight. You're obviously put your email in here because you're trying to learn how to train your dog. You've obviously put in your email in here because you're trying to, whatever that specific problem is, you insert, right? So I'm going to address that. You put your email in because you're trying to, uh, you're trying to learn how to make money online. So with that being said, my name is Eric Ellis. Uh, the, here's my story. This is where I come from. I come from just like you. I've, I've worked a nine to five. Didn't like it. Uh, we probably have similar interests. In the next couple of days um, or the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be sending you some materials that will teach you this specific thing. So if you're trying to learn how to make money online, these next couple of days, I'm going to be teaching you how to make money online, right? I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a solution to your problems. So I'm going to address that, meaning they're going to continue to open my emails and I'm going to start building trust with them. Now, guys, this is completely automated, meaning I wrote up these emails one time for 45 days. Now, guys, you're probably thinking, does it have to be 45 days? Is there a magic number? Not, no, guys, your email follow-up series could be seven days, it could be 14 days, it could be 45 days, it could be 30 days, it does not matter, right? But understand, the longer you build a relationship with somebody, the more they trust you, the more they trust you, the more willing they are to actually pull out their credit card and make a purchase. So as I'm identifying, okay, you're, you've, you've opted into my email list, this is who I am, um, and this is the problem that I'm gonna help you try to solve, now they're gonna start looking at my email. So there are going to be a percentage of people when I send them to this page, and the second page they go to is my sales video, there are gonna be people who buy. That's okay, that's great, that's what we're looking for. We want people to buy. But for the people who don't buy immediately, that's why we're gonna go ahead and follow up with them over a series of days. So day one, they get an email. Day two, so day one, welcome email. Day two, they get a series of emails. Day three, they get an email. Day four, they get an email. So we're, we're sending them content, we're sending them value, we're sending them uh, knowledge we're sending we're also making offer recommendations of products affiliate products that we don't own but we will generate a commission if they buy that will help them solve that problem so just a quick example i'm going to show you guys email number two so if i go to email number two i'm not going to read it but i'm basically talking about uh one in three americans have no retirement basically people not having money so on and so forth the content talking about the middle class so on and so forth the content is congruent. Again, the content in my emails that I'm going to be following up with these people who did not buy immediately is going to be congruent with the problem they are trying to solve. So if somebody's trying to train their dog, I'm going to send them emails about training their dog. So I'm going to identify different things. I'm going to be in my marketing messages. I'm going to talk about pain points. I'm going to talk about struggles that they're going through. I'm going to talk about uh, things that they're probably experiencing that they, they aren't happy with, things that they, they inspire to be like, right? I'm going to basically tap into these things and then I'm going to always, well not always, but a lot of the times after I talk and I resonate with them, I relate with them, I build a relationship, each tap, each email is another way that I get to connect with them and one step closer to them by myself because they know, like, and trust me a little bit more. Then at the end of my emails, I have a call to action, click here to watch this. If I open up uh, the link here, I'll actually just show you what this link opens up to in my actual email. So once they open up the email, right? So basically day two, they open up this email. After they read the email, it's gonna resend them back to my affiliate offer. So remember guys, the first time they came across this video, it could have been bad timing. They could have been uh, walking their dog. They could have been on the go so they didn't have time to watch it. There's two reasons why people don't buy it. First reason why they don't buy it is number one, is those just bad timing. Number two is they just don't have the money, right? So when you follow up with these people, you'll give them the opportunity, you give them that constant reminder to where either you're gonna go ahead and hit them when they do have the money now, or you're gonna go ahead and hit them when it is the right timing. Meaning, 
they might have just had a freaking shitty day at work. And this is specifically for my niche, but this is any niche, right? Um, they just, like the right thing might have happened that day that triggered them to decide, you know what? A change needs to happen. And that product that you just so have to be there at the right time to where you send them that email at that right time. But remember guys, I'm not sending, I'm not writing up the email and sending it. The email was already written and it was set up and it's called an email follow-up series. It was set up day three. Let's just say I, I got, and we haven't talked about getting people there, but I sent people to the specific page. Uh, I sent people to, uh, what is it? This specific page, they put in their email. They got my week welcome email immediately. And let's just say day seven. Day seven, out of my 45 day email follow up, day seven, they open up the email. They're sitting down, they're in a comfortable place. They just had a rough day at work. They're like, damn, man, I fucking hate this job. And they open up your email and something resonates with them. They're like, you're right. You know what? Let me take action. Listen, Eric has been following up me for a while. I trust this guy now. He doesn't sound like a schmuck. Like he's giving me real value. He's actually sending me some stuff. Like he's resonated with me. He's been robbed. Ben. He, he can probably help me out, right? He's going, they're going to go ahead and actually click the call to action link. The link is going to go ahead and send them to my initial affiliate offer. And then once they click the offer, they're going to finally pull out their credit card and they're going to make a purchase, right? You follow me here? So we we know who we're targeting, right? All of our marketing messages are congruent with, with, the, with whatever the problem is these people are trying to solve. We're going to consistently create content around letting them know that we can solve that problem with our affiliate products. We're going to drive traffic to this to this page, capture the leads, and guys, these words will be congruent with your niche. So it doesn't matter what your niche is. For example, if I was trying to lose weight or, or promote weight loss products, this is, could say free video reveals my simple secret to losing uh, five pounds in three days, right? It doesn't matter. You just have to figure out, you, it has to be congruent with your target audience and the problem you're trying to solve. Now. They're gonna get access to the affiliate offer. If they don't buy it, we're gonna follow up with email marketing. Now, what happens after 45 days, right? What happens is, is you're going to have this database, this database that this email autoresponder is going to hold these contacts for you. And what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to do something called an email broadcast. So the cool thing about an email broadcast is that it's pure, Profit. As long as you're selling digital products, it's pure profit. And what do I mean by that? If I sell, let's just say it's an, or if I send a message to 19,000 people, and let's just say 10% of those people open up my email, that's 1,900 people. Let's just say 10% of those 10% actually click the link. That's 109 people who click the link to my page. And let's just say 10% uh, of those people actually buy my stuff. That's 19 sales. Let's say even 3%, right? 3% would be something along the lines of like five sales, right? If I get five sales, an affiliate product that sells, or excuse me, that pays out a 500, or excuse me, $100 commission, that's $500 from an email that took me 15 minutes to create. Now, just to show you guys the power of this, guys, is the, the more emails you start collecting, the bigger your database, right? So the number just get bigger, right? So if I had 190,000 contacts, that means if 10% of those people open, that means 19,000 people would open my email. And then if 10% of those people click through, that means 1,900 people would click my link. And if I would have made $500, that means 5,000, I would make $5,000 that day, so on and so forth. You guys get the math there, right? You, you guys are figuring it out. You guys can see how I made $3,000 yesterday, right? I made $3,000 because I had two sales. So it's because I'm executing on this actual process. Now, with that being said, now that you guys understand that we need a sales funnel software, we're gonna create these sales funnels, we're gonna connect the sales funnel to our email autoresponder, so that way when we send people who resonate with the message on our landing page, they're gonna go to the next step in our funnel, they're gonna see the sales video, the sales video explains to them how our product is going to say, or excuse me, going to help them solve that problem. Our product, we did not create it, we're promoting an affiliate link. So when a sale is made, the vendor makes some money and they also pay out affiliate commissions. So we make some money, right? Now, the question is how do we get people to these pages, right? Where are we? 
How do we get people to these pages, right? Now there's two ways that you can get people to these pages. Number one is or it's called traffic generation, right? The, 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 the term is called traffic. There's organic traffic and then there is paid traffic. So organic traffic is through content marketing. An example of content marketing would be a YouTube channel. So here's my YouTube channel. If I go to my videos, right? Recently, seven hours ago, I created a video that has 209 views. Uh, one week ago, I created a video and it um, has 808 views. So you're gonna create content that is congruent with the, pro the, with, with the problem that your audience is trying to solve. So if, let's say I was doing weight loss products, I'm gonna create a YouTube channel teaching people how to lose weight. And then at the end of my content, I'll make affiliate referrals or I'll say, click the link in my bio and you can get access and then you'll send them to that little capture page that will capture the email. Um, that's one example, right? Um, another way is let's say if I wanted to create a blog, right? A website, for example, my website. Here's my website, here's blogs. So one thing I told you guys is ClickFunnels, right? So if I go to read more to ClickFunnels, right? Um, this is basically like my, like a blog. So I'm literally doing a review on ClickFunnels as people stumble across this blog, they might click through to my affiliate link. So if I go to ClickFunnels right here, right? Here's one of my affiliate links. Now it goes to my ClickFunnels dashboard, but you get the point, right? You can put your affiliate links within your blog post. So you can do blogs, you can do YouTube channels, so on and so forth. The whole goal is creating content that basically is giving value that shows people you can solve their problem. And then also you can make an affiliate recommendation of a product that can also solve that problem. Number two is with paid advertising. So there's organic ads and there's paid ads. So what I'm going to be doing with paid ads is I'm going to be driving traffic with paid ads such as there's Facebook ads, there's Google AdWords. So an example, if I, for example, if I go to Google right now and I type in how to make money online, this right here, start a casino business. That is an ad. Top five side hustles in 2019. That is an ad. Make money for surveys, that is an ad. Make money online, survey, surveyjunkie.com, that is an ad. So one, two, three, four. Four different ads, right? That's that's an example of an ad. If I go to YouTube, if I go to YouTube right now and I type in how to make money online, how I made $7.1 million with my e-commerce store. That's an ad, right? So guys, these are just examples of different ads, right? You could do YouTube ads, Google ads, you could do Facebook ads where you're going direct to the consumer. If you're ever scrolling on your Facebook account and you see people uh, displaying different, uh, uh, you see sponsored posts, those are ads, right? So what you're doing is you're getting in front of people who are interested in this specific subject. So obviously if I'm searching on Google or YouTube, how to make money online, I'm obviously interested in making money online. So these people are creating these ads are going to send you to a sales funnel, right? They're gonna send you to a sales funnel. These people creating these ads are gonna send you to a sales funnel. You're gonna put in your email. Because you just came across them, you may buy, you may not buy, depending on where you are right now. If you do buy, great. If you don't, they have your email now. Now, they're gonna be able to basically follow up with you with their email marketing, with their email autoresponder. You're also going to be added onto their database, their, their, uh, their email autoresponder, their contact list, their email list. You're gonna start, they're gonna start growing that email list. And then what they'll do is they'll give you value, build a relationship, and then send you affiliate recommendations here and there. Now, here's the thing. If I start to build a relationship with you, over time, you are going to think of me as your friend, your trusted source. Whenever you think about affiliate marketing, I want you to think about Eric Ellis, right? If your niche is weight loss, whenever you think about weight loss, you want to think about you or your brand that you're building. So with that being said, what people are going to do is every time I make a recommendation, they're not going to think I'm selling them something. It's going to be a recommendation because I'm the trusted source. I'm giving value, right? So with that being said, that is affiliate marketing in its entirety. You find a niche. Once you find a niche, you find and you understand your audience, you understand the problems and the pain points, you understand what problems people are trying to solve, 
you find a product that solves that problem. Once you find a product that solves that problem, you find uh, you get the affiliate materials, which is a unique affiliate link, which will usually be a video sales letter, a sales video. With that sales video, you're gonna go ahead and connect it to a sales funnel capture page. So that way, when you drive traffic through YouTube video marketing, a blog post, through Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, so on and so forth, there's a million and one ways to run ads. You're gonna be driving that traffic of people who are interested in that specific subject to that landing page saying, if you wanna learn more, put in your email and get access. They're gonna put in their email, they're gonna see the sales presentation, a percentage of those people are going to buy. For the people who do not buy, we're gonna be remarketing to them with email marketing, getting them to know, like, and trust us, and to be able to convert those leads into sales. And most importantly, we're going to be helping these people solve that problem and getting paid very well to do so. And the whole goal is how do we do this? And how do we do this at a profit? So that is affiliate marketing, guys. That is it from start to finish. That is affiliate marketing for beginners. There's a lot of uh, bull crap out there on the line, but that is literally how this whole machine and mechanism works, right? Hopefully you have some clarity now on how this actually works. And that's basically affiliate marketing for beginners 2019. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, Eric, that makes sense, but how do I create a sales funnel? How do I set up an email autoresponder? How do I actually write these emails? Uh, how do I actually learn how to write persuasive emails and persuasive words on these landing pages? How do I run paid ads? How do I create content? There's still a lot of missing puzzle pieces to the puzzle. Yes, this is a 37 minute video. Uh, I created uh, a lot of value here and I taught you a lot. You understand the machine and how it works, but you don't know how to build it. You don't have the, you don't have the roadmap. Now there's gonna be two types of people. The first type of person is gonna be that person who is going to basically waste a lot of time, money, effort, and energy, who is gonna to try to find all the answers online, on Google, on YouTube, and so on and so forth, and they're gonna to try to do this for free. And the only problem with that is you're gonna waste a lot of freaking time. I mean, you're gonna be going on like social media trying to figure out these freaking answers, but it's gonna take you forever to put all the puzzle pieces together. The second person is a smart person who's gonna be asking the question, is there somewhere out there that I can just pay to get results much quicker? And what I mean by that, is there somewhere out there where I can get the step-by-step -step process of how to actually create this business from start to finish, right? Now, what I wanna do for you um, is, right now, um, if you guys get access to my affiliate program that I'm currently promoting right now, which is easy one up, right? Vertex Live, and Vertex Pro. Vertex Live, I'll be very straightforward with you guys. Um, Vertex Live is a $2,000 product. Vertex Pro is a $1,000 product. For anybody who invests in these products, right? $1,000 is $2,000, right? As you know that you, this isn't for everybody. If you're not willing to invest into yourself, this isn't for you. But if you're willing to invest into yourself and you're willing to get to the point to where you learn step by step how to actually execute on this product just to show you guys really quick right for those of you who are like oh my god a thousand dollars two thousand dollars guys sixteen thousand dollars here fifteen thousand dollars here twenty three thousand dollars here uh uh fifty seven fifty seven hundred dollars here uh, if you look here nine hundred and ninety seven dollars yesterday thirty three thousand dollars here like guys i've made so much money because of the skill set not only that not only the money that i've made but I've also been able to quit my nine to five and do this full time and live life on my full uh, on my terms, right? If you're willing to invest into yourself, you can either go the long, grueling, you learn this shit by yourself route, or you can go to click down below, basically invest into yourself, and I'll also give you guys access to my affiliate marketing course. So if I go to uh, affiliate marketing wolf dot com slash membership once you become a uh, 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 a member right um and you invest into yourself um and guys you can actually go to the sec if you guys don't want to go ahead and join this program fine you guys can actually click the second link down below and get access to this course where i will still teach you guys this subject right but affiliate marketing i'm going to teach you guys the fundamentals right 
Um, uh, not the yeah, the fundamentals. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the fundamentals and the foundation. Look, five minute video, 18 minute video, picking your niche, eight minute video. Like, I have pretty 16 minute video. I have over 40, 40 hours of content, over 60 videos here. Like, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the fundamentals. I'm gonna teach you guys about sales automation side, how to actually build those funnels, how to set them up how to do the email marketing part, how to drive traffic. I'm gonna teach you guys about Facebook ads. I'm gonna teach you guys about uh, tracking your profits, how to actually make sure you're running a profitable campaigns. There's bonus content, like tra more traffic, more email marketing stuff. Literally, if you want the step-by-step -step process and you don't wanna go ahead and figure out how to do this yourself, which is a smart thing to do, because at the end of the day, for example, if let's just say I never invested into myself, by the way, all these different programs are join, promote, earn. So meaning I bought their courses to be able to promote it as an affiliate. That's how I've learned. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars in these paid programs to learn this skill set to be able to promote these products online and to be able to learn how to make money online. So I've invested into myself. That's why I've made all this money because I learned the skill set and I implemented what I learned. But if I never would have put my money where my mouth was, I would have tried to learn this on YouTube, learn this on Google, it would have taken freaking forever. And the fact that it would, it'll, it would have taken forever, I would have like freaking like, I would have lost tens of thousands of dollars because I would have never earned these commissions. Now the fact that I decided to invest into myself, I got results much quicker, I made money more quicker. So if you decide to go the route of trying to learn this yourself, it's gonna take you so fucking long, right? Just invest in something like a course. If you guys want access to the course and a make money online opportunity, then go to uh, my link down below and grab access to Easy One Up and invest into Vertex Live or Vertex Pro and I'll give you my course for free. Now, let's just say you guys don't want to do the make money online niche. If you guys don't want to do the make money online niche, then simply go to the second link and I'm, doing, I'm still doing a discount off for my uh, regular price of my course right now. Um, second link in the description, you guys can get access to my affiliate marketing course. And this course will teach you guys everything. If you guys don't want to do the make money online niche, if that's not what you're passionate about like I am, you guys can do weight loss niche, romance niche, a golfing niche. It doesn't matter. You guys can do that with this affiliate marketing course. But the, the moral of the story is don't do this by yourself. Don't do this alone. Don't try to take shortcuts and try to find all the answers on YouTube and trying to do this for free. You're gonna waste fucking time, effort, energy, and money trying to do it the hard way. Make the investment, invest into yourself like I did, get results much quicker, and it'll get you out of that situation that you're currently trying to get out uh, more, more quicker. Meaning whether you wanna go ahead and leave that nine to five, whether you wanna go ahead and build your dream life, whether you wanna go ahead and travel, the world, whatever it is, you can do that. This skill set can help you do that. You just need the right knowledge, the right guidance, the right know-how. I gave you guys the foundation and the fundamentals in this video, but there's 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 more there's more puzzles to the, uh, puzzle pieces to the puzzle, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and give you exactly what you need, all the ingredients to the freaking magic formula. So I'm gonna stop rambling here, guys. Click down below, click the button down below, click links down below, take action. It's gonna help you guys. Um, if you guys gain value from this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit hit the like button. It really does help. Um, hit the subscribers button. I'm going to be dropping more fire content like this on up and coming videos. And with that being said, guys, as always, your boy, Eric Ellis, checking out.